So hi and welcome to the sixth part of the remix of the How to Make Your Own Social Network series. So in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, creating the database for our um, social network and we're going to be converting our page from a .html page to a PHP page and including our and, and so that we can do things like include a header file and things um, which I'll explain more about later. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to convert our .html page to a .php page, which is easy. All we do is click File, uh, and then we click Save As, and we click on PHP, and we click Save. It's really easy. Uh, and now we've done that, we can uh, delete the HTML page, and we'll drag in the PHP page. Uh, actually, we've already got it dragged in since we saved it over. So now we've got the PHP page in, we can um, use PHP code obviously. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to create the header file. So I'm going to click File, New File. I'm going to save it as in the folder called ink. And I'm going to call it header.ink.php. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this. Uh, I'm going to cut it actually and I'm going to paste it in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace it with an include function or an include a statement in PHP. The uh, additional spaces like here and then inside here are optional. I just did it to keep things tidier, but you don't actually need them. So what you do is you just type in slash ink slash, or I mean dot slash ink to make sure you're in the, uh, so you're, it's dot slash is the same as just putting in nothing, but I just do it. Uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter. And then I say header.ink.php, which will include our header file. So now if I refresh the page, nothing should change because our header file was included. But if I comment that out, as you can see, now everything goes away because the header file wasn't included. If I re-include it, uh, everything comes back. Um, we can also create a footer now, so that's what I'll do. I will cut that and replace that with a PHP uh, block with an include function in it. And it's going to say slash ink slash footer dot ink dot PHP. And then obviously we have to come up here, click file, new file, and we want to save it as footer dot ink dot PHP. I want to paste that in. So we shouldn't see any changes again. Okay, uh, footer dot ink dot PHP didn't open. So let's see why. Okay, we saved the footer.ink.php file here. So just drag it into the ink folder um, and close this because now it's the wrong file. So close that and just go back into ink and open it up again. And there we go. Uh, if we refresh, the error is gone. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create our table. And as you may have noticed, if you go back to the root uh, of our uh, files, there's a file called users.sql. So I'm going to just open it up in Sublime Text, and here it is here. And I'm just going to go over the different fields. So this is the uh, file we're going to use to create our uh, users table. So what it says is create table if not exists users. So that's pretty self-explanatory. It just means create the table users if it doesn't already exist within the database. Then what you want to do is you want to uh, we want to uh, tell it what rows to add to it. Or uh, I mean columns. So we want to add the uh, ID, a username, um, a first name, last name, email, password, sign up date, and then activated, which is an enum, which basically just means it can be either zero or one. In my case, like it could be anything you want, but I chose zero or one. Uh, and we want to set the ID to the primary key, which means it can't be the same as anything else in the table. Um, and we want to set our ID also to be auto incremented, which means every time a new record is added, the ID increments by one. So for the first user, the ID will be one. For the second user, the ID will be two. And then for the third user, the ID will be three, etc. So instead of just importing the file, we can actually just copy and paste this code. Uh, come over to our database, click on the SQL tab, and paste in here. And click go. And as you can see, it says our query was executed successfully. We click on structure and we have our users table now. So we've got one more thing to do, so we're going to create another file and we're going to call this one, uh, we're going to save it in the ink folder and we're going to call this one um, connect.ink.php and we're going to just open some PHP, our PHP block in here and we're going to say mysql query 
uh, oops, actually not MySQL query. And we're going to say MySQL underscore connect localhost root. And then I have no password. Uh, the localhost is the host, obviously. Root is the username uh, for my database. And since it's on my localhost uh, using XAMPP, their default is root, so I just left it as the default. There's no password, so that's blank. Uh, MySQL select DB is what we want to do next. And we want to select the find friends database, which is what we put in there. Then we want to say or die. Couldn't. Select DB if it if that doesn't work, and then we'll say or die couldn't. Whoops, connect to database or just say I couldn't connect to SQL uh, server. Then what we want to do is we're going to go to the header file and we want to just come up here. And include our uh, MySQL Connect file. So it's ink slash connect dot uh, php. Or I mean ink slash connect dot ink dot php. And let's refresh the page. So nothing should happen, it should all just work the way it was, uh, but the way we can check that it's working is if we put in a fake username, we should get an error. Couldn't select DB because it was able to connect, but, um, okay, yeah, it's because this one came second, so if we just comment that out. Okay, um, let's just... Change the host and that should be what we need to do. Yeah, okay, we couldn't connect to SQL Server. So leave that uh, at localhost, comment that back in, leave root as the username in my case, it might be different for you. Uh, but here we go, everything's working as expected. So that's it for this video, don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.